People who come to the Gulf Islands either to visit or actually end up living here have such a wonderful relationship with the beauty that is here and appreciate the art that is involved in capturing that beauty. So there's a lot of artists on the island and those artists are people that we have um, brought into the inn here with art shows in our gardens and inside. We've also filled the inn with a lot of art, both First Nations art and art from Galliano Island. The different artist studios are open to visit and it's great fun for our guests because they get to go out and actually see the place where the work is being created. Stoneworld is landscaped with 365 standing stones, one for every day of the year. I have always been fascinated by the natural world and I've tried to capture its many faces in every season, every mood. For me it's been an unending feast of inspiration. Well, all art is an expression of the person. I think it's my love of fabric that really comes out in them and makes them unique. And so who I am also makes it unique. Well, I think I'm also blending what we see in the natural world and the spiritual world. I like to, to say that you're experiencing my shared passions. I love my garden and I love my glass. And when we came here, we built the gardens with the idea of actually showing the work in the garden. So it's, it's a very tranquil place and people come from all over the world and a lot of them, they're not used to our beautiful BC. They're, they take things that we take totally for granted. So our birds, our butterflies, our flowers, and our frogs. <laughs> and people sit in the garden for hours and just watch. We're very blessed to live here. I started to take an interest in uh, silversmithing about 10 years ago. Took a few classes, got hooked, started taking more and more classes, and now, now I've opened up a little business. I've been doing that for a few years. So nothing is mass produced, nothing comes out of a mold. I make all the components completely happy. I have my jewelry for sale at the Galliano Soapworks and at Now and Zen, and I have my own gallery here on the property, so you can come, come to the house and see what I've got. We offer a whole a skincare line, which is facial toners, cleansers, moisturizers, serums, shower gels, shampoo, conditioner, bubble bath, household products such as cleansers and sprays for the home, So, and everything is natural. We also provide a full floral service for the island and people that are coming to do weddings. All of the soaps are made here on our rescue farm. A lot of the proceeds from this venture go toward helping to maintain the farm and take care of all the rescue animals that we've taken on here. We make a really, really mean cinnamon bun that people come for a long ways for because they're like the size of my face and they're just absolutely fresh and delicious. We have a Galliano roasting coffee coffee that's right from here and then we use another, uh, we use the level ground coffee as well for our drip coffee uh, and our espresso is the uh, Galliano roast. So we try to support the local businesses. I love coming in in the morning and baking the breads and um, it's my passion so. I love to do. <laughs> I like to carry all BC designers mostly. Um, there's always a mostly because I can never seem to stick to any rules but <laughs> like right now I have somebody from Montreal who uh, I just had to have in the store. What I really enjoy is is working with people and I enjoy working with clothing. It's kind of like a moving art. It works really quickly. It's fun and I love to make people feel good in their bodies and in themselves and have that shine. So uh, that's what I like to do. <laughs> I 
I think what makes it unique is that I am carrying local arts and crafts and handcrafted. No one was doing the real tourism thing on the island, so I wanted to carry Galliano brand clothing. And I also carry native art designs on my clothing, so I carry t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, vests, ball caps, a whole range of clothes for adults and children. Well, the reason I started this moped business was when I came down this long one and a half kilometer of hill and I, I thought to myself, you know, I don't think many people are going to want to walk that hill up. So that's the reason why we started it initially. We get comments here on, the, on this board of mine behind me um, when they leave. What a wonderful time, beautiful island, and etc. And that's, uh, that's very satisfying when people do that. One of the best kayak guides on any of the Gulf Islands is on Galliano, Ben, and we always refer people to him as well. Galliano Kayaks, I started in uh, 1985 after trying to introduce people to canoeing here and realized that kayaking might work better in the islands. And we have been uh, doing it ever since. And it seems to be, the, for me, the best way to see the beauty of the island. The fact that we're introducing people that are not used to it, to natural history and the beauty of the island, and the fact that the water, which British, most British Columbians are surrounded by, is accessible, and we need to appreciate it and love it. It's a beautiful place to live. I love this coast. I mean, it's part of one of the most gorgeous coasts in the world. 